The Philippines Transformation continues. With government mindful that improving infrastructure is key to greater competitiveness. Seeking deeper collaboration among stakeholders. To move products and people more easily. Accelerate growth. Effectively provide social services and attract more investments. There are two things that have really been constraining our capacity to attract uh, foreign direct investments and even investments by our local uh, entrepreneurs. One is the quality of our infrastructure and we have been investing substantially in infrastructure development to reduce the cost of doing business in this country and to make our production bases uh, more efficient and able to compete globally. The past several years has been quite dramatic in the sense that things are moving quite fast, at least in the area of roads and bridges. What has been happening right now is good because it has placed us on the, the world arena. So people now see what's going on. No longer are they, they see that we are backward. And if the investments do come into the country, both from our own people and from outside, then there will be more work for the construction industry. Revenue and expenditure reforms have created more fiscal space and enabled government to ramp up infrastructure spending. On the fiscal policy side, more efficient public spending more aggressive mobilization of revenues has allowed the government to channel greater investments in, in infrastructure. Investment grade ratings and improved competitiveness should help draw in long-term investors in the country's infrastructure sector, for example, in the manufacturing sector, in tourism sector, in agribusiness sector. Our investments in uh, infrastructure development will go from about 2.5% of GDP this year to a max of about 5% of uh, GDP in 2016. That's about 860 billion pesos more of infrastructure problems that will go to national roads and bridges, irrigation, school buildings, health facilities, post-harvest systems of uh, the agricultural sector. We want uh, a low-hanging fruit to continue to expand, and this is tourism. And we are investing hugely in infrastructure that will make about 10 tourist zones accessible to uh, visitors, uh, domestic and foreign alike. The government's infrastructure program, developed systematically and collaboratively, will be a catalyst to spur more private sector investments and help pave the way for sustained growth. We've taken on uh, convergence programs with other agencies. In particular, we have this tourism road infrastructure program where we will spend a little over 50 billion. The whole objective is whether it's national road or local road, we want to upgrade the quality so that tourists can reach our priority destinations under tourism master plan with convenience. Aside from that, we will start building up investments in flood management, mitigating the effects of climate change as well as the recent events of flooding in urban centers in particular. So you will see a ramping up of probably close to 50 billion pesos a year just on flood mitigating measures. We're just finalizing the, the guidelines so that uh, foreign contractors can start participating in uh, the industry for projects above 1 billion pesos. So we will continue to make sure that we will have transparent bidding, we will continue to pursue and really make the market more competitive. I think our local contractors over the past three years have been asked to upgrade their equipment so that they become more competitive. We are continuing to cluster projects so that projects become bigger, become more attractive for local as well as foreign contractors. I think with this upgrading, we hope that, uh, and we're seeing you know, more uh, interested investors coming in to look at flood management, to look at roads, uh, to look at bridge technology, 
and uh, other aspects of the construction industry. The road is literally being paved to welcome investors and visitors alike. The PPP program was identified by this administration as a means to address our infrastructure gap. There is close coordination right now with the various implementing agencies to have a faster implementation or rollout period for our projects. Moving forward, we're looking at amending uh, the BOT Build Operate Transfer Law to institutionalize the reforms that we've started. The Department of Finance is going to set up a contingent liability fund and that should send a clear signal to the investors that we are committed to honoring the sanctity of our contracts. DPWH is also leading the amendment on the right-of-way acquisition so that the implementation of these two projects would be faster. We have quite a number of measures that we've actually done. We have an investment promotion who will make sure we'll babysit them from A to Z in securing their various permits and requirements in order for them to come up with their own infrastructures. On power, which is actually quite essential, what we're arming ourselves with is actually demand forecasting. There is a reason for investors to come in when they actually see that there is a demand. For every demand is an opportunity and for every opportunity comes investment. The most significant uh, development in the first half of this year was that uh, foreign tourist arrivals uh, hit a new high of about 2.4 million arrivals by June, which is very significant when you consider that is over 11% in growth versus a year ago. The implication of that is that we are well on our way to breaching the 5 million visitor mark by the end of 2013. Something which we are really looking forward to because it will fuel a lot of excitement for uh, all our other programs and uh, services. There have been some very significant investments in the tourism business. There are the uh, new hotels, for example, that have opened up both in the uh, national capital region and very significant uh, resort and hotel developments in the Visayas and Mindanao. We're talking here not just about hotels, of which we expect to add about 12,000 rooms by the middle of next year, but also convention facilities, which are also coming on stream. Those investments are only about two years old and they are multiplying as we speak. Tourism thrives, tourism investment specifically, thrives in an atmosphere of confidence. We're uh, very happy, in fact, that the uh, investment grade ratings are now seen as boosters for people to feel reassured that it's not only uh, more fun to visit the Philippines, but it's also more profitable. Observers, including the country's development partners, agree that the Philippines is on the right track. It must increase investment in infrastructure and it must increase investment in human capital. And this is precisely what the government has been doing. Investment Grade Philippines, facilitating infrastructure development, seizing opportunities to achieve inclusive growth.